Hey everybody, it's time for lots and lots of animal stories for kids featuring Miss Danny Donkey. Now everyone grab a pillow because it's story time! <laughs> That's right. What's today's story about? Be patient, I'll tell you in a moment, but I can promise all of you, you'll like it. Ladies and gentle persons, kids of all ages, get ready to take a magical journey to fun places and meet interesting people led by none other than your illustrious teacher and guide, me, Miss Danny Donkey! We have a real whale of a tale for you today, kids. It's about Kristen, a blue whale, and her calf, Katrin. The story is about a journey they take from the coast of Mexico to the Bering Sea. It's a journey they take every year. This is my daughter, Katrin. I'm Kristen, a great blue whale. We live in many of the seas of the world, but the oceans we like best are the North Pacific and the North Atlantic. As I'm sure you know, all we whales are mammals, not fish. But we can swim very, very well. We don't have legs as most mammals do, because we spend all of our time in the water. Fins and a sleek body like mine are better for living in the seas. Let's talk about adaptation. Adaptation are changes that happen to plants, animals, and human beings to help them fit in better wherever they live. One of we donkey's adaptations are our lovely long eyelashes. Long eyelashes help to keep the dust and the sand out of our eyes. And also, do you know that sea mammals breathe air just like us? What? what? One of their adaptations is holding their breath for a really, really long time. Can you think of any of your own adaptations? How about our thumbs? They help us hold on to things. That's right. Wow, you kids are really smart. Now, back to Kristen's story. Every year, we blue whales swim from the cold waters of the Bering Sea to the warm waters off the coast of Mexico and California. That's one half of what's called our migration. Mexico is a beautiful and colorful country with delightful music. Music is very important to whales. When whales call to each other, it sounds like song. As much as I loved listening to other blue whales singing, I really liked the music I heard on shore. The one I liked best is called cumbia. Listen, it makes you want to get up and dance. Dance, dance, cumbia, cumbia, dance is fun. It's so easy, really, even if you weigh 100 tons.
was coming to an end. Kristen had her little baby, Katrin. She was so wonderful and so cute. Katrin was a normal-sized blue whale baby. She weighed 6,000 pounds and was drinking 100 gallons of milk a day. But she was growing quickly, and soon it was time for us to leave the warm waters of the Gulf and begin our swim home. Here's the song she sang to her little baby. Oh, my darling baby, no time for being lazy. Begin our journey way back home. See such sights teach you to roam, to meet new creatures big and small. Each has a tale, we must hear them all. To learn the ways of the seas, to learn what it is you will be. For it's adventure time, your very first So much surprise, you'll almost burst Going home is a long, long swim Up to the top, the Earth's very rim The Bering Sea, that's home for you and me Home is where we want, we want to be Oh my darling baby it's time for you to learn Time to meet gulls up above And the Arctic turn Time to meet whales and hear their tales Listen to the sharks and slippery eels Time to meet humans both kind and cruel Time to know the oceans you will rule For it's adventure time, your very first So much surprise, you'll almost burst Going home is a long, long swim Up to the top, the Earth's very rim The Bering Sea, that's home for you and me Home is where we want, we want to be Oh my darling baby Going to feel so alive Filled with knowledge and with joy A feeling no one can destroy You'll know who you are and what you'll be The ways to dive to the depths of the sea The who, the what, perhaps the when Today, tomorrow, perhaps the then For it's adventure time, your very first So much surprise, you'll almost burst Going home is a long, long swim Up to the top, the Earth's very rim The Bering Sea, that's home for you and me Home is where we want, we want to be Kristen and Katrin left the Gulf of Mexico to start their long swim home. We left the Gulf and its warm waters. It's a short swim north to the Pacific Ocean. Blue whales like Katrin and I usually travel alone or in groups made up of two to four whales. That's very different from some of our other brother and sister whales who like to travel in groups called pods. This time, it was just us. We were swimming and diving off the coast of Malibu when we were stopped by a school of fish called stingrays. Stingrays aren't usually very aggressive, but these guys were really pushy. They were trying to convince me to sign up with their talent agency. They told me I'd be a big, big star. Hey, baby. Some fortune and some fame Hey baby You want the world to know your name then Don't just swim on by Don't you swim on by Hey baby You want the ocean at your feet
Lucky for those two, all Kristen could think about was going home. Fame isn't always what it's made out to be. Let's see what Kristen says about that. I couldn't wait to get away from those foolish fish. Fame isn't what we wanted. To be happy, home with my family and my child is my dream. Along the way, I introduced Katrin to several pods of dolphins, a school of sea bass, many lovely jellyfish, I had to warn her that they can sting if you aren't careful, and a shark or two. Sometimes, Katrin got so excited by all she was discovering, she couldn't get to sleep at night. She couldn't stop asking questions. She wanted to make sure she and I weren't going the wrong way. I finally got her to calm down by asking the moon to sing her a lullaby. Hush now, children sleep. Your night's watch I keep Close your eyes and I'll send you a thousand sights To fill the hours Till morning's light Though Kristen didn't say it, she was nervous that her baby Katrin wouldn't grow up in the same beautiful, clean ocean that she grew up in. But kids, we can all do things to help, like make sure that our family recycles and doesn't dump waste into the oceans or rivers. Let's see what's happening with our friends, Kristen and Katrin. As we swam up the Pacific, we passed by the northwest coast of the United States very early in the morning. I showed Katrin the fishing boats going out to sea. By far, most fishermen are good people who love the sea and respect we who live in it. Katrin asked me about the long things that were hanging off the boat. I explained that they were nets, and while we were most likely too big to be harmed by them, nets were something a whale or dolphin or poor had to be careful around. I told her about one fisherman who took the time to sing us this song of warning. must eat and we eats from the sea all kinds of good fish is not just one two or three the best way to catch them is nets that are strong and we never want anything to go wrong sing it the weights are dropped and the corks are all set good whales and dolphins watch out for the net you fellow air breathers come listen to me and take my advice cause you're smart as can be when boats are afloat and just swim real slow don't follow the fishes wherever they go sing it the weights are dropped and the corks are all set good whales and dolphins watch out for the net there's one thing that's true from the straits to the horn all creatures is sacred the moment they're born so let's live together both ocean and man and balance our needs just as best as we can sing it the weights are dropped and the corks are all set good whales and dolphins watch out for the net because there are fishermen who care and are careful not many dolphins get caught in nets anymore fishing has become a lot safer and better for the ocean and all those who live in it. Now back to our story. Kristen and Katrin were now swimming in the cold waters of the Northern Pacific. The ocean here was so beautiful and so full of life. 
We swam between the floating icebergs, playing tag and enjoying their size. As you might guess, big things seem very lovely to we whales. I let Katrin measure herself against the size of the icebergs. She was so happy when she was bigger than the iceberg. Then I explained to her that we blue whales are the biggest animal ever to live on the earth, even bigger than the biggest dinosaurs. She was so proud. That's when I first heard Katrin sing. I'm proud to be a blue whale, a hundred feet long. From my nose to my tail, my nose to my tail. As big as a jet and as fast as can be. I can jump from the ocean as high as a tree. I'm big, big, big and beautiful too. Shine. the most wonderful song I had ever heard. Perhaps it was because my baby was singing it. That's something to remember, kids. There's beauty in being big, and there's beauty in being small. We're all different, and that's what's so exciting. No matter what size, color, species we are, we're all unique and special in our own way. Whale songs travel very long distances, sometimes many miles. We could hear the songs of the humpback whale. So pretty. The pilot whale. And the beluga and right whale songs. They were all calling to us, telling us that we were close to home. The Bering Sea. Where can a bear walk on water? I don't know. The Bering Sea. Oh. The Bering Sea is so cold that the water freezes into huge masses bigger than many of the states in the United States and countries in Europe. Wow! Mm -hmm. Polar bears live on this land of ice. And seals, sea lions, and walruses, they use it as a place to rest. That is where Kristen and Katrin finally come home. Katrin and I swam through the giant kelp forests. The kelp grows from the ocean floor to its very top, sometimes over hundreds of feet. We met many of the fish that live in here, said hello to old friends who swam by. King crabs, pink shrimp, and scallops live here. Millions of squid dart around using their jet propulsion. When we came to the surface, Katrin saw her first large flocks of seabirds. Millions of moors and auklets live on the cliffs, and bald eagles and stellar sea eagles nest in trees. Remember, kids, we need to be good and kind to our earth and to our seas. We need to take care of Kristen and Katrin, and all of their friends and family, too. 
We swam around greeting the seals and the sea lions, the terns and the eagles, the fish, the squid, and the polar bears. I introduced them all to Katrin and Katrin to them. Welcome home, welcome home, I've been gone so long, it's good to be back home. Welcome home, welcome home, I've been gone so long, it's good to be back home. Kristen and Katrin spent the next months together, but before long, Katrin would take her very own journey down to the coast of California and Mexico, and Kristen took the same journey to her summer vacation. Even though they will be apart, they will always remember this special journey. Two whales, a mother and a daughter, together. Take a look. 